Hey there, I'm Ugu from Tech Corner TV and I will start by thanking you for joining me to watch this video. And today I have something different for you. If you usually watch my videos on the electronics channel, you certainly noticed that they're made not here in this studio, but on my electronics lab workbench. Like any good workbench, it's always accumulating dust and it's a complicated task to have it clean. To help, I decided to purchase a Tomul Portable Vacuum Cleaner. But that's enough talk, let's get to it! Okay, here it is, let's open the box and see what we have inside. Uh, okay, so we have here the vacuum cleaner. We have also a uh, accessory box. Let's take this out of the way and see what comes here in the accessories. Okay, first of all, we have here a charging cable. It, 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 has, a, it has a converter that will increase the voltage for 8.4, nor, not the normal 5 volts of USB. We have here two pieces uh, to point uh, ends for the vacuum cleaner. It seems one uh, can fit like this. And we have also this one that goes here. Okay. And we can take it also out. Okay. To point, let's see how the vacuum cleaner is okay uh, it's pretty small it's this tubular uh, shape we have here the the point the end where we can connect the this uh, this end and yeah it stays like this let me see if this goes here too yeah not so well but yeah it goes also no, like this and we can use it like this it, it will not fit as well as the other one but yeah it's it stays in place okay uh, in this end we have the the connection for the power. I hope that this has some battery so we can test it. And we have here the power switch. Yeah, it seems it has some power. Uh, in here we have some marks that we can rotate this. Okay. This is the, the motor part of the device. It says it is able to do 43,000 uh, RPMs per minute. It has about oh, it has about uh, seven thousand pascals in section, and it, it says it it works with uh, seventy dB minus seventy dB. Uh, so we we're gonna see that in a moment. We have here the filter, and in here you will have the the dust container. Okay, it goes like this. We close it like this, and yeah, that's it. Nothing hard. But they say this is quite silence below 75 dBs. Let's see if that's true. Let me put here the sound level meter, uh, something like this. Okay, let's power this on and. Okay, uh, it's not 75 below 75, but anyway, it seems it seems okay. Uh, yeah, it seems okay. I, I should say that it's not too loud. Uh, well, it can do a little bit uh, less noise, but it's not too too bad. 
I bought this, as I told you in the beginning, because uh, not here, but on the workbench where I do the electronics videos. After work with the wire cutting and uh, the solder and everything else, sometimes uh, it, it becomes quite hard to have it always clean. And I have uh, a central vacuum cleaner at home where the workbench is. Uh, we, I just need to, to, to put the hose on the wall. I have there a connector and to, to vacuum wherever I want. But anyway, it's a lot of logistics for some cleaning. So I decided to buy this. Uh, we can have this on a drawer uh, without any problem. And yeah, as you can see, it's small. And well, let's see if the, the 7,000 pascals that you say it has from suction, uh, it works something. I have here a tea bag with, well, uh, <laughs> a bunch of the leaves. Uh, I will open this and s spread this around and let's see how it handles vacuuming this. I hope this will have enough power to do it, otherwise I will have to connect the power to, to test this. Okay, let's see. seems to vacuum pretty well. Uh, obviously these are leaves, but I don't expect to have uh, well, uh, much bigger things on, on my desk. And as I told you, this is for cleaning my desk. Let's see how it uh, stores the, the dirt. Okay, we have here the filter. Oops. Ah. This is a problem. Okay. And you can see there. But if we take this out, uh, the dirt will follow. We have to be careful uh, when uh, taking this out. Let's vacuum this again. Okay. Let's put this down and let's try again. Okay, it seems to work. Um, yeah, it seems to work. Uh, yeah, to be honest, uh, I paid 22 euros for this. There are models a bit, uh, a bit more economic. Uh, they are also a lot more expensive. Uh, Xiaomi, for example. Anyway, for the, the purpose that I will have for this, I think it, it will be enough. I'm quite satisfied with this purchase and yeah, let's see if I can have a, a cleaner uh, workbench at home. Okay, that's it. If this uh, video was useful to you, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button and if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell so you can be the first one to be notified every time I launch a new video. That's all for today. I hope to see you in my next video. Stay safe. Cheers.